And another Jackson County homeowner speaks out tonight, saying her property value has gone up over $160,000, and it's a mobile home. Josh Jackson joins us live now in studio. And Josh, this is not the first time that this has happened. Yeah, Sharon, not at all. She said she's had to challenge the value of her property before. Just two years ago, she was fighting for and granted a $10,000 refund after it was determined she was overcharged. Fast forward to 2023, and... Here we go again. It's just unfair and unjust that it's not right. They should not be doing this to people. Tuesday, Valier not mincing words. She says the county valued this mobile home at $202,000. She's renting the trailer to her ex mother in law, who's 89 years old and pays 600 bucks a month. What are they thinking? I mean, are they thinking? In 2021, the home was valued at $40,000, but even then, there was a problem. We were overcharged by $10,000. We were expected to pay up front, and then once we proved the value was wrong, they reimbursed us $10,000. The increase from 2021 to 2023 is well over 400%. Jackson County Assessment Director Gail McCann Beatty says the average increase for 2023 home values is around 30%. I call bull and there's people if they do their research can see um, the average is way higher than that. Valier has filed an appeal, but if the new value stands, she says she'll be forced to raise the rent to around $2,000 a month, something her current elderly tenant will not be able to afford. Are they thinking about anybody but themselves? I mean, we're out here struggling. Yeah, it's important to note there's still time. Any Jackson County homeowner who feels they've been overpriced have just over two weeks to file an appeal. The deadline is Monday, July 31st. In the studio, Josh Jackson, KCTV 5 News. Mm -hmm. Sharon? So many of those stories, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you.